I am Katie with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to create healthy alternatives to the food you crave. So I don't know about you, but is one of the foods that you crave uh, include chocolate or peanut butter or banana or maybe a combination of the three? I definitely have a heart for all of those three ingredients. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a flourless chunky monkey muffin. And again, this is completely flourless. So that's what makes this muffin recipe completely unique. Um, there's no flour. So if you have a gluten intolerance or if you just are trying to cut white or wheat flour out of your diet altogether, this is the perfect recipe for you. And it, really that's what I try and tell people is if you're trying to cut out anything out of your diet to kind of eat a little bit cleaner or healthier, I would recommend starting by cutting out white flour and white sugar because those are two processed ingredients that really our body doesn't need and really it, it doesn't do anything for our bodies to help them uh, you know, run and, and function properly. So instead of sugar, I'm going to use baking stevia today. And a lot of times people say, I don't like baking stevia, it has a strange aftertaste. There are so many today in the grocery store that you can really just try different ones until you find one that you like. Um, I personally like a few different kinds and there's so many great options now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a half cup of baking stevia to two mashed bananas. So that is kind of the base of our muffin recipe is two mashed bananas. And then I have some creamy peanut butter here and you can use natural, you can use organic, you can even use almond butter for this recipe. So, um, you know, if you don't like peanut butter or you can't have peanuts, you can do almond butter, you can do sunflower butter. Sometimes, you know, I'll um, speak with moms about how to create healthy recipes for their kids and they say, you know, my kids can't bring peanut butter to school. And I say, sunflower butter is a great option or even cashew butter. So any kind of nut butter will work with this. And so we did one cup of peanut butter in there. And then I have protein powder. And this is something that you could add or you can completely leave it out of this. But protein it has that really, that staying power when you're you know, having, enjoying a snack. It really helps you stay satisfied for longer periods of time so that you're not feeling hungry and looking for something you know, a half hour or an hour right after you have a snack. So I like to have protein powder and add these into my baked goods for that reason. I'm just gonna do a fourth cup of protein powder and you can do, um, vegan protein powder, you can do egg white protein powder, whatever kind of protein powder works for you and your family. So I put that in the bowl, just like that, and I'm gonna stir it, give it a quick stir, just to kind of get these ingredients going together here. And then I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. And that just helps the muffins rise and it helps them to be soft and fluffy and tender how we like muffins. And then I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. Whenever I'm doing baking, I always do a pinch of salt. That just um, helps balance out the sweetness. And then I'm gonna do a fourth cup of cocoa powder. Now this is where the chocolate comes in and a lot of times I think when people you know, think of chocolate, they think of rich and decadent and you know, loaded with fat and sugar, but actually cocoa powder is, in itself is unsweetened. So there's no sugar added and it's a great way to get that chocolate flavor into any recipe without adding any um, calories or sugar. And then I'm gonna add a fourth cup of honey. So for this recipe, you could do maple syrup, agave nectar, honey, any kind of um, sticky sweetener. And a really good tip that I have to get the honey into the bowl without sticking to your measuring cup is give the measuring cup a little spray with cooking spray. So it's not just for your pans, it also helps with getting honey out of a measuring cup. And then I'm gonna just squeeze that in there. I didn't say it would be easy to get it out of the actual honey container though. So honey is a great sweetener because it's a natural sweetener. Um, it obviously comes from nature and that's what clean eating is all about is creating um, recipes or eating anything that's closest to its original form. So unprocessed foods, foods that I always say are God made foods. So anything that God created, created straight from nature we know is good for us and it's gonna help our bodies run um, to the best of their abilities. We're gonna feel great. You know, you, a lot of times people even say, I lost weight without even trying just by eating foods that weren't processed and eating God made foods. 
And then I'm going to add two eggs to this. So you can see all of the ingredients that I've added so far are really unprocessed ingredients. Um, the protein powder, if you wanted to get really as clean as you could get, you can actually get dehydrated egg whites and they just turn it into an egg white protein powder. And all it is is dehydrated egg whites. But they have organic protein powders. They have really good options as far as protein powder goes. And then I'm gonna stir this completely. And that just um, giving it a quick stir is gonna be a good way to kind of get things mixed together um, before I use the electric mixer. Now you can see that because I mashed the bananas ahead of time, I may get it just about creamy enough just by stirring. But just to give it an extra little whisk here, I'm gonna use the electric mixer or handheld mixer. Um, you can also throw this directly into a blender. And you, you do it just until it's creamy, um, just until it's smooth. And so um, you can see, it'll look just like cake mix when you're done. It'll look kind of like a muffin or a cake mix, nice and creamy. And with this, um, I just like to take the fourth cup measuring that we used for the honey and just scoop them right into the muffin tins like that. Now, I also have some chocolate chips here and that's optional, you don't have to use them. And you can sprinkle them right on top or you can mix them right into the mix. And you can see there is the finished product. You bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes and you have your flourless Chunky Monkey muffins. And to get this recipe or more just like it, you can head over to ctvn.org.